Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. In today's video, I'm going to be making a delicious beef enchilada casserole. Now this is my personal recipe. There's no rolling up, nothing like that. It's super easy and I know you're going to love it. Let's get started. So I've got my heat set on about medium. I'm going to go ahead and put in my ground beef. I've got one pound of 80-20 ground beef. Now I'm just going to be stirring it around like this until it loses its pink color. And once I remove all the grease, I'll be putting in my seasoning. Because if I season it right now, then when I remove the grease, I'll be losing all that seasoning. Now I went ahead and removed all the grease, as you can see. Now you can use the real lean ground beef, but I don't think it's as tasty as the 80-20. So I'm going to put in a little seasoning. This is half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to put in a little bit of pepper. You can use as much pepper as you want. That's up to you. Just like that. I'll put in a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to be using chicken broth when I make my sauce, so I don't want to go too crazy with the salt. Now I'm going to be putting in some green chilies. See? Now you can use any brand that you want of the green chilies. And you can leave it out if you don't want to put it in. I just like the way it tastes. So I'm going to go ahead and stir all this together. And this is all I'm going to be putting into my ground beef. Because I'll be putting in the main ingredients into the enchilada sauce. So I'm going to give this just about 30 seconds and then we'll get started with our enchilada sauce. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds. My meat is ready. I'm going to go ahead and remove it off the heat and I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to get started on my enchilada sauce. So I've got my heat set on medium. I'm going to start out with three tablespoons of melted butter just like that. And I'm going to put in the same amount of flour. I'm going to make a roux. And I think that the best roux are made with butter and flour. But if you want to use oil, you can. But I like it with butter and flour. So I'm going to stir it around like this until it gets to a real nice golden brown. If you put in the rest of your ingredients in real quick before it gets to that brown then your flour will still be a little raw so we'll give it a few seconds until it reaches that point so now that my roux is a nice golden brown I'm gonna add my chili powder and I'm gonna add a little bit at a time like this and continue stirring because you don't want to burn this chili powder now this is a chili powder that I'm using but you can use any type of chili powder that you want Okay, now that I have put in all my chili powder, I'm going to put in my paprika. And I'm going to continue doing what I was doing non-stop like this. And let the chili powder and the paprika get real nice and toasty like this, but without burning it. And you can use any paprika that you like. Now it's ready for me to add my chicken broth. I'm going to start out with a little bit of chicken broth like this. And then I'm going to bring it all in together. Add a little bit more. And I'm going to add a total of three cups. But I'm going to whisk them in like this slowly. In between each cup. Because you don't want to rush it. You want the sauce to taste delicious, so you want to take it a little bit slow right here. So now that I've been stirring it around like this for a little bit, now I'm going to add my garlic powder. 
just like that. Now I'm going to be posting all my ingredients on the screen. And I'm also going to put them below in the description box so you'll know exactly what I'm putting in. Now I'm going to add my onion powder. And I'm going to add a little bit more chicken broth. This is my second cup. Ooh, it's starting to smell really good because all the flavors are coming in together. Okay, now I'm going to add my cumin. Now, I wouldn't make my enchilada sauce without cumin. You can leave it out if you don't like it. And I usually wait just a few seconds in between ingredients because you want to give them a chance to, to release their flavor and come in together. Now I'm going to add my tomato paste. Now I like the flavor of the tomato paste in here because together with your chili powder and your paprika, it'll just taste so good. And then I've got my chicken bouillon. I'm going to put some in there. Now I'm not using beef because I like the taste of the chicken better than I do the beef. So I'll just stir this around and make sure that the tomato paste really dissolves real good like this. Now I'm going to add my oregano. There's the oregano right there. And I'm going to stir it in really good like this. And I've got a little bit of sugar right here. And the sugar will just be a perfect balance with the chili powder and your paprika and your other ingredients. So we'll give it a few seconds for it to melt real well in there. And I'm also going to add the rest of the second cup of the chicken broth. And I'm going to continue whisking it like this. And I've got my heat set just a little bit below medium, like on number four. I'm going to put in some pepper. Now the pepper is up to you. You can put as much as you want. I'm putting in about half a teaspoon. And I'm also going to add the rest of the third cup of the chicken broth. I'm going to taste it for the last time. Make sure it's just perfect. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. So now I'm going to remove it off the heat and I'm going to set it aside over here. Now I'm going to get started with my tortillas. Now I've got my heat set on medium high heat and I've got some corn tortillas right here. I'm going to go ahead and put one in one at a time, but I'm just going to let it be in here just a few seconds like this. Now you don't want it to get crispy. Just like that. Now I've got some napkins right here on this plate and I'm going to put them on here on the napkins because I don't want them to be very oily when they go into my casserole dish. It's just the taste of the corn tortilla comes out really nice when it's in the oil like this. So I've got myself situated here and I'm getting ready to put it together in the casserole dish. Now you can use any casserole dish that you want. So I'm going to put a little bit of my enchilada sauce in the bottom, like this, just before I put the tortillas on here. And that's good, just like that. Now I like to get the tortillas like this and pass them through my enchilada sauce like this. See? Just like that. Then I'm going to put them down at the bottom. I went ahead and cut off the edge like that, just so that it'll fit the dish really good but that's just me you don't have to do that so and then I'll put the other one on like this and then this one down here at the bottom like that and I like them really nice and wet with a sauce just like that see now I've got my meat mixture here it's a little messy but they're gonna be delicious just like that. Now I've got Colby Jack cheese here and this is freshly grated but you can use any kind of cheese that you want any cheese that you like. This is Colby Jack only because it's my favorite. See? Now I'm gonna put some cheese right here on top. 
see, just like that. So I've got some finely chopped onions here, and I'm going to go ahead and put some onions in here, like this. Now you can leave these onions out if you don't want to do that. They're just so good with onions in here. See? So now I'm going to put another layer of tortillas, like this. There's one. See, and this, this literally takes minutes. This is a super quick, you know, dish that you're going to prepare. See, just like that. And I'll put some of the meat mixture. And some cheese. Some onions. That. And then I'll put in the last layer of tortillas. There's the last one right there. Put in my cheese. Put some onions. And I'm going to finish it up with the cheese like this on top. See? Just like that. See? Now I've got my oven set at 375 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of aluminum foil on top, like this. Just until the cheese gets real nice and bubbly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my oven. My timer just went off. So I'm going to go ahead and give it about 10 minutes before I cut into it. I'll be right back. So I think we're ready to cut into it now. When it cools down just a little bit, it's usually easier to cut. Oh, look at how good this looks. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks beautiful. Now what I like to do is just put a little bit of lettuce on top like this. Just a little bit of tomato because I like the cold of the tomato and the lettuce on it. And some sour cream on the side like that. Now for the taste test. This is super delicious, super. So this is my beef enchilada casserole. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think and share with your friends. Thank you.